springtime shrubs, and topiaries. It's time for TLC Live. Whatever you want, we've got it here at TLC. Did you get it? We've got it. Yeah, yep. we got Use it. Use in a Cuba. Use in a Cuba. We were just talking about it sounds like an island. It does. I mean, <laughs> I would want to go. Yeah. I'm going to use in a Cuba. We're there for summer. Okay, Daryl's here with me. I'm Angela Buckaloo. This is TLC Live, and we're talking about use and the Akuba. We've yes. got plenty of it. We do. We do. Great things for shade. So um, lots of people have very shady, dark places in the yard where they want to put something nice and showy. And so there's actually some cool options for that. So the use like this nice golden you here mm -hmm. puts off all that pretty yellow new growth. Um, there's the dark green varieties, some that stay short, some that get tall and skinny. So if even if you're looking for things for pots, very cool options. And then the uh, beloved Akuba. <laughs> Very cool, evergreen, yeah. so it keeps its foliage all year long. Looks like this, almost tropical. Um, real cool, splotchy foliage, mm -hmm. yellow and green. Um, extremely drought tolerant, does well in pots. You can put it in the ground. As long as it's getting shade, it would love it there. This is really cool, though, that it does it keep is. its color all year round. All year long. It's very tropical looking. It's nice. Lovely. Let's Lovely. move on. You know, a fun and easy way to put some texture in your lawn is a topiary. Yes. Definitely. We've got lots of cool topiaries that you can do in flower beds and pots up by the front porch. Um, really anywhere in the yard where you want something to stand out and look different, more like a specimen piece. So we've got cool dwarf Alberta spruce topiaries that grow slow, so you don't have much pruning maintenance with them. Uh, some nice spirals, the ball topiaries. We've also got lots of boxwood topiaries that do the same thing. So we've got the pom-poms, cones, spirals, all kinds of different things. And so would these have to go in the shade or could they get sun? These would prefer some afternoon shade. The boxwood are a little more versatile where you could do probably sun or shade on those, mm -hmm. but if you have a sunny place, we still have things that would work for you in topiaries. Okay, real quickly, let's talk about fertilizing. Right now is the time to fertilize right your now yard. Is a great time to fertilize. Um, stuff's just fixing to start putting on that new growth. We finally got some warmer temps, some sunshine. So fertilize now, and that way your plants can take advantage of all those nutrients when they're coming back out of dormancy. Right. So we'll do it. Daryl, yeah. thanks so much. No problem. We'll see you next time on TLC Live.